Hi, welcome to this video that I'm going to be demonstrating our follow device for clips and in particular using the clip stop mode. Rather than building my own set and figuring about what I was going to do, I've uh, roped a few friends in to help me with the content. So on the first track I've got a, a, a little ditty, um, Spinned At by Omtrek, which is uh, out on Juno Download now. Fantastic uh, little bit of drum and bass. And I'm also going to be using Afro DJ Max Glitch FX template, which is available to all members of his ADM monthly uh, subscription. Each month you get a set of instruments, effects, tools, a uh, great load of stuff in there. This particular set is a complete range of dummy clips. If I just quickly show you. In each of these clips here, uh, you have a set of automation uh, that controls the effects rack that's within the track. Now, if I just have a quick look at this, the first thing you'll notice is my OmTrek track uh, is only to sends only. It, it doesn't go to the master. Um, instead, I've got it running into the first of my glitch tracks and then when it goes out it goes to my second so the signal pretty much goes from here to here to here to here all the way through to the eight tracks that you see represented here on the push i can hide the io now so you can see a little bit more so what i've got is effectively a, a two controller setup i'll have deck one in this channel and then potentially a second controller maybe a launch pad or something similar you never know even two pushes with them synced together and I'll play from here uh, I've got my mix control at the top and these will be effectively glitches now let's have a quick look at the envelope in this one bar down and you'll see how it's been created ADM get glitch space Simply drawn in, it starts at 127, goes down to zero, and then resets itself. The launch uh, mode is quite important. It's uh, set to toggle, so each time I press it, it will play, and then when I press it again, it will stop. Great, particularly for the push where there are no necessary stop buttons available. There is a bit of a challenge though, because I, I want to play this a little bit more musically. And if I just give you a demonstration, let's bring the... Volume down in the, <coughs> in the headphones. Now, if I start the one bar down, you can hear... And then stop it takes you back to the normal signal. Let me see that on the actual rack. Stop. And of course you go back to dry. But I want it to be a little bit more reactive than that. So I'm going to change it to 16. So I can go at any point and it reacts really quickly. Ah. And that's the issue. When I've changed it to the 16th, stopping it may end up stopping halfway through the envelope. So I'll have to trigger this dry clip instead. So I'm going from there to there. Again though, I'm, I'm having to double clip, double click basically to launch this each time. Now if I change to gate, it will play for as long as I hold it down. Cutting off on 16th so it's still nicely, uh, how do you call it, nicely quantized um, but effectively you have to keep pressing and touching and realistically once you've moved down your dry clip is no longer available. So I'll show you what we've done with our follow device. If I just open that and turn it on. In here we've set it to clip stop and we set it to number one. So effectively as long as I hold it down it will keep playing. As soon as I let go it will trigger 
the dry clip, which means I can play.